me just close that down. Now, sorry, guys, that was a really boring week, wasn't it? We had a little bit of a bounce off the 100 moving average. Off the, and if, you, if you're wondering, the bottom of that, uh, that last swing low is actually bouncing off the 100 moving average, exponential moving average um, is what we've got there. Moving average, exponential. I'll put them in while you're uh, talking, yep. Yeah, 100. Nice, uh, nice clear bounce too, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Look at that. And then just came back up into the box, the bottom of the box. It just sat there, and that top of the box happens to be the monthly pivot. Ah, yep. And it just goes around in circles. So there wasn't really anything very interesting. It looks a bit of a retreat there. Um, there was a bit of volatility we saw, and, and Friday was a pinball and just a headache all around because once um, it, it was released in the in the media that uh, Trump had and First Lady had tested positive, we saw a real bounce and, and gold took off. And then it sort of settled and sort of drifted back down again. And then NFP came out and it decided to come back down again just, just to, oh, it was just... Look, there you go. Weekly pivot, uh, monthly pivot, weekly pivot as well. If you want to chuck that in as well, weekly pivot and my pivot's different to your pivot. <laughs> yeah, I just think I'll, I'll just jump through a couple of uh, things it. here. There we go. So I just there had to change time frames for it to, uh, to redo. <laughs> like, I certainly can't say I like this one with. Um, Oh, it's uh, with uh, no um, no colours on it. Uh, is that my old one? Anyway, we but don't need colours for this particular yeah. site. We get, the, we get the picture, right? But we get the picture. It's sort of popped up there between the two pivots and it's just been a pinball. And it's just been so... And it's very unlike gold to be as touchy about news as it has been. But I've got to say in the last week, it's been quite major news as well. So we've gone backwards and forwards and backwards and forwards. And it's just been hideous um sort of like cut you know death by uh, the cut of a million paper a, a million paper cuts by the way so backwards and forwards we've gone and we've got no clear direction on gold at all um i yeah you're down there aren't you 1815 is one of those levels that i think if the low of that if that breaks that weekly pivot during this coming week I will still be looking for um, that level of 1850 to 1815, not 1850, 1850, 15 to be reached. So, it's one of those things, isn't it, where it's a real, for me anyway, it's a real mental battle at the moment. It is. Because um, I believe there are still buyers because buyers are so aggressive through here that I yeah. believe they're coming back. And it's just a matter of how far will they let it drift before they come back and, um, you know, it's, it's, it's quite a dangerous attitude to have as a trader. It's not the best thing I can do is to have that attitude because I am really, I'm a little bit one, one sided in my trading of this. We're really, there's probably money on both sides of this at the moment. Yeah. I mean, you've, you've still got a lot. Um, you still got a lot of analysts still saying by the end of the year, they expect to see gold up around two, three to two and a half. A lot of a lot of them seem to have cooled their heels on the three thousand dollars, if you may have noticed is the last couple of weeks. But it's just yes. just lately it, we just got we've got nothing in this last week, and and that's okay because gold will do that for a little while. It, it likes to bounce around inside a box and then take off. Um, it has come back up to what was a fairly large box, but um, yeah, we haven't broken any levels. Bounced off her moving um, average. Let's see what happens. That's all I, I haven't really thought about, Angie, is that there must be something coming through here that's not a long way from getting into play. Yeah, but then you can look at that and say, oh, well, there's your equilateral triangle and, and or there you've got a... You can draw... It's a bit like the FIB levels. You can draw lots and lots of... Lots and lots of lines on that, on that structure, can't you, Paul? And just say, oh, oh, you really can. back and up there and you can do this and you can expect if you extrapolate that, then that the height of that triangle you can take from the top to the bottom. 
and it's broken it and I mean there is no head and shoulders in there but um it is it's you just, just have to sit and wait unfortunately because what we're looking at is nothing definitive I've got a new trade manager which is um just amazing and um I don't have it on this uh on this laptop unfortunately um what I was doing was putting that on uh, because I wanted to see whether they put the horizontal levels on for me. Um, which it didn't do. Uh, those ones are a little bit. Let was me tell you, those, those, those levels. I don't know why I wanted, I can't remember why I wanted to see. I'm going to take it off again. It's not helping me at all. Um, so right now for, for the week ahead, Ainsley, this is another one is, is what you're saying here is that, look, uh, oh, sorry. One I was going to talk about. Often, when stuff gets stuff between monthly pivot and weekly pivot, it spends a bit of time in there, but they're quite tight. Yeah, it's hard to see gold sitting inside a range as tight as that for for too long. Yeah, and if you drop down to a four hourly, um, you'll see that it's just been a little pinball. It's just dropped around all over the place. Bing, 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 bing. Especially in this last, I had a double bottom that's, put in um, place. That's what I was doing. I, I wasn't putting that on there to do horizontal levels. I was putting that on there to see where weekly pivot's going to go this week. Because um, at the moment, if it is, um, is it there? weekly pivot. So weekly pivot's going to stay in the same place. And that does look like that might be enough space That's for the little, little range to sit in there. there. It's going to be interesting to see how that goes. Yeah, and given the, the circumstances at the moment, I'm not surprised. It's just a bit of a holding pattern. And and as we know, gold likes to sit in a holding pattern until it has a real, you know, takes the bit between its teeth and, and, and goes. And when it goes, it goes. But um, I'm not seeing anything that's really exciting me at the moment on gold. Fair enough. I, I've got to say, I conquered.